event coincides with the centennial celebration of the life of a man many of us consider the greatest African of all and one of Africa's greatest gifts to mankind. Nelson Mandela dedicated his life in his own words to the struggle of the African people for their freedom and development and quote, cherish the ideal of a democratic and free society in which all persons live together in harmony and with equal opportunities, unquote. Realizing Mandela's vision is in effect realizing the vision of the SDGs, which has at its core human development that leaves no one behind. We in Ghana are making significant strides in the implementation of the SDGs, which we see as central to achieving our vision of building an optimistic, self-confident and prosperous nation through the exploitation of our human and natural resources and operating within a democratic, open and fair society in which mutual trust and economic opportunities exist for all. Today as we gather here, as people with the capacity to make a difference and change our world, let us leverage Mandela's vision and values to achieve the SDGs. It is imperative for us to accelerate urgently progress before 2030 so that the next generation lives in a world free from poverty, hunger, disease, and the degradation of our environment. This is what the iconic Mandela would have wished. Success in doing so will be a fitting testimony to his life's work and the values that he stood for. Once again, I welcome you all. I to talk about our next key issue, the problem society is facing with cybersecurity. I want to introduce Microsoft's global advocate for digital peace, Jamal Edwards, President Akufo Addo of Ghana, and Secretary General of the Commonwealth of Nations, Baroness Patricia Scotland. Global citizens, Akwaba, that is the Ghanaian word of welcome. I'm honored to join you today in celebrating the life of Nelson Mandela, Madiba, a man who left an indelible imprint on his generation and humanity, a man whom many of us consider Africa's greatest leader and one of her great gifts to mankind. I'm happy to state today that several governments across Africa are making an important contribution and commitment to global peace, including digital peace. Last month, 57 governments endorsed a new international declaration, the Paris Call for Trust and Security in Cyberspace, saying that governments should work collectively towards a common goal of protecting cyberspace. I'm delighted to announce Ghana's support for the Paris Call, and I urge other nations to do so. In 2019, Ghana will host the first Global Peace Initiative, which is intended to help force the connection between peace and development. We want you to join us for that event and to reflect on how digital peace can be made foundational to global peace. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you again.